it's time for good energy and i'm dr julie and welcome to body full day 259 it is day one in our series about cuticles and the senses it's going to be hard to get to them but uh i'll pull my gloves off later um we are talking about how and we're talking about the vestibular system which for those of you who have been following my series as we've been going through know that the first day of the series I hijack it because there's really very hard, it's very hard to connect cuticles with the vestibular system. But I hijack it to tell you about the basics in terms of the healing equation and the cuticles. So let's go ahead and start with our basics. Take a deep breath in and release. On the next deep breath in, I want you to expand in the belly, expand in the chest, and expand in the sinuses. And as you do all of that, you're gonna find that your, your, your pelvis is gonna unhinge just a little bit in a good way. So take a deep breath in. And release. And we are talking about cuticles and the senses. So I want you to think about the most recent issue that you've had if you haven't ever had issues with cuticles that have torn or ripped or been been bleeding or anything about that you are doing wonderful but for those of us who do experience this i want you to think about your latest encounter and take a deep breath into that and release all right so we are talking about cuticles and the senses and the cuticles are the edges of your nails and they can have a couple of things that go on so the first thing that can happen is that your the edge of your nails can actually be very dry and when it dries out it starts to peel and you could start to peel that off the problem is is that the skin around the fingers does not come off very nicely in fact it's one of those where it peels a little and then it peels deeper and more and more layers and then you have this disaster now the other way that you can get cuticle issues let's see if i can find a good one is that sometimes along the edge of your nail there's an extra flap of skin that's not actually your nail but it's not actually attached to your finger nail bed either and those can be picked and those can come sliding off and then you can pull those, but they too have a tendency to do the same thing. As you pick them off, they go deeper and deeper and deeper into the nail bed, eventually causing bleeding. Now, um, when I was a child, so I've been picking at my cuticles since I was a wee thing. Um, when I was a child, I could do that and it would bleed and you know, the next day it would be fine. But as I've gotten older, and the circulation to my hands and feet has gotten worse. Um, when that happens, when I get bleeding, what happens is that I end up getting a little bit of an infection there. And so the side of my finger, sometimes the, the front of my finger will get swollen and will be uncomfortable to use. So that is something that we need to work on. Uh, we need to figure out how to get energy to heal cuticles or energy to reduce the effect of picking at cuticles. Eh. Energy to heal cuticles equals good energy in minus stressors. So today we're gonna to talk about, just in general, what is going into this? Our goal is to heal the cuticles. Now that is to provide enough moisture into the nail bed so that the sides of the, the, the outside of the nail bed doesn't dry up and flake off and then cause that and also enough energy to make sure that that little part that starts to grow on the side of the fingernail, that that is easily, easily stays attached and doesn't start to come off and so it feels like you have to pull or peck on it to, to get rid of it. And so the goal is to heal that cuticle, make it exactly what it needs to be. So we're going to start out by looking at, in general, by looking at the stressors. So the stressors for this, first and foremost, is lack of circulation to the fingertips. Once that cuticle comes off, the fact that you have an infection, the fact that those fingers are out of commission for two, three, four days has to deal with the fact that you are not getting enough circulation and you're not getting enough of an immune response at the very ends of your fingers. And if you are prone to cold hands and feet, this is not good. 
this is, this is, you know, you, you get no healing at the ends. So you've got to figure out how to get that circulation going. So our goal with that stressor is the good energy in is to increase your circulation and increase your immune system response, whether it is right locally at that fingernail or if it is the immune response throughout your body. But we can think about it those two ways. The good energy in we want to get in is immune system and we want to get circulation going down there because that is how these are going to heal faster. That is why these healed faster when you were younger and are not healing as fast now. You can also think about this in terms of just a general finger cut. If you have a general cut on your finger, these things are going to happen. You're going to have issues with your cuticles because you are, as you get older, you just don't heal as well. So how can we make that better? How can we add to this in order to make the system function, uh, in order to get enough good energy in so we do have healed cuticles? Now the other stressor, and I'm sure many of you picked up on it, the other stressor is what problem am I solving by chewing at my cuticles? What problem am I solving? by ripping them off with my teeth or with my fingers. This is the other stressor. There is a need to pick. When do I pick? When I'm bored, when I'm waiting, when I'm, I have to stay awake, when I'm stressed. And I do not bite my fingernails because my fingernails have always, for the life of me, have always been very strong and sturdy. So it's very annoying to bite through them because they're almost as hard as anything else that I would try to bite through. But my cuticles are pretty much easy, easy target. So I never bit my fingernails, but I bit my cuticles, not the outside edges, but that little edge along next to the nail. And it was just something that I did. So the other stressor is here is what problem am I solving? by biting my nails. And we'll, eh, that's more psychological, but we'll look into it in a couple of other senses just to see if we can figure out what is that sense, what is that, what is that information that's coming in. So our goal is going to be to look at those stressors, to look at the good energy in, and see how we can use the senses to either reduce those stressors, get good energy in, but basically improve your ability to heal your cuticles. All right, now, is there a connection between the vestibular system and your cuticles? Uh, maybe with just the extent to which you can get blood flow down to those fingers. So again, we talk about blood flow. We talk about lymphatic blood flow or lymphatic flow. So anything that we can do to get the flow of energy down to those fingers vestibularly is going to help with your hand function. So that is going to be good energy in. Now the vestibular we can also talk about is the, the stress response. So if I bite my nails more when I'm flying, and that's because I don't know where gravity, the center of gravity is, it shifts, then we would know that part of the stressors sensory are going to be the stress on my, on my sympathetic nervous system to bring the blood inside my body and not heal anything on the outside. All right, so, eh, sort of touched on vestibular. Join me tomorrow when we cover day two. Again, this, I think I picked one that actually really does connect to it. I'm kind of doing the every other thing maybe. Uh, all right, so I hope you're having a great day. Let's finish this off. Take a deep breath in and release. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care.